Hey, what's up, gamers? It's your boy, Ed Savage, and welcome to Savage Gaming, the podcast where I share with you the latest and greatest in gaming and tech. Today, I have something very exciting for you. I'm going to introduce you to a new blockchain project, at least for me, that is revolutionizing the world of crypto and smart contracts. It's called Flare Networks, and it's one of the most innovative and promising platforms out there. But before we get into that, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future episodes, because trust me, you don't want to miss this one. So what is Flare Network? Flare Network is a layer one network that prioritizes blockchain interoperability or the ability for two blockchains to communicate with each other. And it helps bring smart contract capabilities to other blockchains that don't have them, such as Doge or Litecoin. Now, you might be wondering what are smart contracts and why do they matter? Well, let me tell you, Smart contracts are basically self-executing agreements that run on code and can perform complex functions without having an intermediary. They are essential for building decentralized applications or dApps that can offer various services and solutions on the blockchain. All right. So as an example, imagine if you could lend or borrow money without a bank. If you could trade or swap tokens without an exchange, or if you could create or collect digital artwork without a platform, or even play games or gamble without a casino, all of these things are possible with smart contracts and day apps. But here's the problem. Basically, not all blockchains have smart contract capabilities. Some of them are limited by their design or technology. For instance, Dogecoin, which is one of the most popular and, you know, one of the most popular meme coins in the world, it does not support smart contracts natively. That's basically where Flare Network comes in. Flare Network is based on the Ethereum Virtual Machine or EVM, which means that it can run on any Ethereum compatible smart contract. This opens up a huge potential for developers to create the apps that can interact with other blockchains and leverage their unique features. But Flare Network is not just a copy of Ethereum. It has some unique features that make it stand out from other platforms. For example, Flare Network uses a novel consensus mechanism called Avalanche, which allows it to achieve high scalability, security, and decentralization without sacrificing speed or cost. Now, another feature that sets Flare Network apart is its native data acquisition protocols, the State Connector and the Flare Time Series Oracle. These protocols enable Flare Network to access data from other blockchains and the internet in a secure and trustless way without relying on centralized providers. So this basically means that Flare Network can enable new use cases and monetization model for dApps, such as triggering a smart contract action with a payment made on another chain or with input from an internet API. It also facilitates a new way of bridging between smart contract networks, allowing for cross-chain composability and interoperability. Flare Network's native token is FLR, which has multiple uses on the network, including incentivizing adoption and decentralization of the data acquisition protocols, securing the network, and participating in the network's governance. FLR was distributed to millions of recipients in January 2023 in one of the largest scale distributions in crypto history. Flare Network is still in its early stages of development, but it has already attracted a lot of attention and support from the crypto community. Some of the projects that have partnered with Flare Network include the XRP Ledger, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Stellar, Cardano, Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot, Cosmos, and more. Flare Network is aiming to become a universal platform 
for smart contracts and data acquisition that can serve multiple ecosystems and unlock new possibility for dApps. If you're interested in learning more about Flare Network, you can check out their website, their white paper, and their blog, which I have added in the description. All right, so that's it for today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed this introduction to Flare Network and learned something new. If you did, please give this podcast a thumbs up rating and leave a review below. Let me know what you think about Flare Network. And also let me know if you're planning to invest in it or to use it. And also don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future episodes. I'll be covering more topics on blockchain and crypto in the upcoming weeks. So please stay tuned for that. Thanks for listening to Savage Gaming. I'm Ed Savage, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. A quick disclaimer before this video ends. This podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Please do your own research before making any investment decisions.